How the homophobes doing? <laughs> you good? Comfortable? Hmm? Uptight motherfuckers. <laughs> I wrote a poem for you. <laughs> Feel welcome? Come in to this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call her Sweet Angel. Hugs herself when she's stupid. Gets facials from a wonderful woman in the city who talks like a landslide. Boys used to call her Peach. The way she said it still blurs me up like a massacre. In an attempt to make me feel handsome, Sweet Angel said, If I was a girl your age and I found out you were gay, I'd just think, you know, <laughs> what a waste. Okay, hey, perky cheeks. If that was supposed to be a compliment, don't ever send me a care package. <laughs> a waste. That was, that was more like when I stole a woman's trust, love, and virginity, then broke her heart just to prove to the fellas that I really like having sex with women. That was a waste. A waste for all the years I spent juggling cheekbones and steel, gay and Texas, glass ornaments made of closets that can easily hang, hide, and stretch my dirty laundry on clotheslines from San Mateo to Niagara Falls back to Texas, and you'll never see a thing. Fourteen and fading, my parents on marriage number eight, me keeping all of it hidden up in the air like ducks in a row ready to go down during hunting season. To some children, self-preservation and mirrors will always look like a grown man with raw lips and locked jaw whose heart pounds out so fast for safety it sounds like ice picks, chipping holes through the chest of a sculpture his parents otherwise would have loved to show their friends. A waste were the years without light or smile or worth. The years I spent in places it's not fair for me to tell you about, like in the backs of adult arcades where I learned that the only certainty some human beings will ever know is this. There's a naked man and there's a dark room everywhere. These are children who will never be told that there is nothing wrong with being human who are not allowed to love themselves despite their crimes, who will have no one there to help them arrange chaos in alphabetical order once they realize that sometimes, y'all, being born is really inappropriate. They will be haunted by their ability to hate you, to give you back what they got from you. It is the quickest slow death you'll never see until the wind blows on a quiet day and you ain't got nobody to hold, y'all, and it is a waste like the hundreds of gallons of gas I burned pulling off into the alley so I could die or scream or clutch. There will never be enough back road in this world to make you understand how much I loved him. A waste is a nine-year-old boy playing catch with the roof of his garage who already understands that his existence makes for the perfect insult. Gay. You're so gay. A.K.A. stupid. A.K.A. dumb. A.K.A. wrong motherfucker. Wrong, wrong motherfucker. Do you have any idea how gross it feels to have to hide inside the pile of lies it takes to make you, sweet angel, comfortable? Knowing me is easy. You could still twist your hair and feel silly. Look up the word tacky and have a salad. <laughs> but when we're together, you pull bread apart with your fingers into bites sometimes so small. I got to remind you, Peach, it is okay to be hungry. Yes! Do you have any idea how hard it is to pull that off when you look like an exact cross between Bruce Willis and Charlie Brown? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> if we were created in God's image, oh. <laughs> y'all already know this, so I'm gonna have to do a new one. Yeah, but what if I don't do it as good as YouTube? Y'all are gonna be pissed. Oh. new inside voices. <laughs> Please do it. If we were created in God's image, then when God was a child, he smushed fire ants with his fingertips and avoided tough questions. There are ways around being the go-to person, everybody, even for ourselves, even when the answer is clear, like the holy water Gentiles drank before they realized forgiveness is the release of all hope for a better past. I thought those were chime shells in your pocket, so I chucked a quarter at it, hoping to hear some part of you respond on a high note. You acted like I was hurling crow birds at mocking bars, then abandoned me for not making sense. Evidently, 
I don't experience things as rationally as you do. For example, I know mercy when I have enough money to change the jukebox at a gay bar. Somebody's got to change that shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know mercy whenever someone sho shoves a stick of morphine straight up into your heart. God damn, it felt amazing on the days you were happy to see me. So I smashed a beehive against the ocean to try and make our splash last longer. Remember, all the honey had me looking like a jellyfish. Ape, but you, you walked off the water in a porcupine of light. Strands of gold drizzled out to the tips of your wasps. This, it's an apology letter to the both of us for how long it took me to let things go. It was, it was not my intention to make such a production of the emptiness between us. Playing tuba on the tombstone of a soprano to try and keep some dead singer's perspective perspective alive. It's just that I could have swore you had sung me a love song back there and that you meant it. But I guess some people just chew with their mouth open. So I ate earplugs alive with my throat, hoping they'd get lodged deep enough inside the empty spots that I wouldn't have to hear you leaving. So I wouldn't have to listen to my heart keep saying, all my eggs were in a basket of red flags, all my eyes to a bucket of blindfolds, in the cupboard with the muzzles and the gauze. You know, I didn't mean to speed so far out and off, trying to drive your nickels to a well when you were happy to let them wishes drop. But I still show up for gentleman practice in the company of lead dancers, hoping their grace will get stuck in my shoes. Is that a handsome shadow on my breath, sweet woman? Or is it a cattle call and a school of fish still dance with me? Less like a waltz for panic and more for the way we hope to swing the night. The night we took off everything and we were swinging for the fences. Don't hold it against my love. You know I want to breathe deeper than this. I didn't mean to look so serious. I didn't mean to act like a filthy floor. I didn't mean to turn us both into some cutting board. But there were knives stuck in the words where I came from. Too much time in the back of my world. I pulled knives from my back and my words. I, I cut trombones from the moment you slipped away. And I know it left me looking like a knife fight. Lady boy, I know it left me feeling like a shotgun shell. You know I know I might have gone and lost my breath. But I want to show you how I found my breath to death. It was buried under all the wind instruments. Hidden in your castanets. God damn, if you ever want to know how it felt when you left. If you ever want to come inside. Just knock on the spot where I finally pressed stop playing musical chairs with all your exit signs. I'm gonna cause you a miracle. When you see the way I kept God's image alive, forgiveness is for anybody who needs safe passage through my mind. If I really was created in God's image, then when God was a boy, he wanted to grow up to be a man, a good man. And when God was a man, a good man, he started telling the truth in order to get honest responses. He'd say, yeah, man, I know. I really should have wore my cross again. But shit, I don't want to scare the Gentiles off. <laughs>